Welcome back to Ballhead and Metal, guys, and welcome back to another Abbott reaction. I'm super excited. It's the Book of the Breath official lyric video. For those who are new to this channel, I'm a big Immortal fan. I'm a big Eye Between the Worlds fan and Abbott uh, solo album. I also like what Demonize did with his work. So I'm just a big fan of the band. It's one of the top uh, black metal bands for me personally. I've always loved. And I really like the sound of this particular album. It starts to remind me of the later uh, Immortal albums as well. And some of the work that he, obviously he did with I Between Worlds and uh, Demonaz. So with that being ado, so far I enjoyed both of the singles. I like the first single more than the second one. Let's get into this one, see what we got. Yeah, uh, this one I like right off the bat. I gotta also be, yeah, yeah, I've gotta be honest. There's some people that said in the comments that I was, um, I compared this to like older Immortal, and somebody said this is not even close to Battle Beasts. I gotta say, I became a fan from Damned in Black and later. And like I said, this sounds, why do I always forget the name of the album? Uh, it's one of the last, it's the last album Abbott was on with the two crows uh it reminds me of like mount north and uh basically a lot of the songs on that album as well as the eye between the worlds like i mentioned so far that's it's just like a mix of those two and what i always liked about abeth and he said this in many interviews is he's very inspired by classic rock uh so tyrants for example was he mentioned i think it was cashmere right he took like cashmere and had a play on it and to me this is apparent in this album as well there is some kind of classic rock riffs going on as well as his kind of signature black metal thrash metal combination that immortal is known for Yeah, I really like that switch up that he had there, that riff. It was really nice. Uh, the thing about, I, I noticed about all the Abbott solo projects for me, they didn't immediately connect with me. Uh, and even here, like I'm enjoying myself and I like the song, but I'm not, I haven't connected on with them as much as I did uh, with Demonaz or Eye Between Worlds. Those I just love. Uh, At the Heart of Winter, Sons of Northern Darkness. Oh my God, those albums just envelop my life how many times I've listened to them. And here, it's like I hear the, the good music in it and I'm enjoying it. It just doesn't have the same impact anymore. And I don't think it's because uh, Demonaz and Abbott split. I don't think that's the particular reason. It's also because, you know, they've been doing it for, what is it now, almost 30 years or 30 years. Close to 30 years. So it's like, I've heard it 
everything from them that they're gonna do is someone like Iron Maiden. When you listen to Iron Maiden, I like the new albums, but they've just they've done their job already. And now this is just more fan service. And I think it in many ways Abbott is fan service because in the same ways that it sounds like Immortal, it also doesn't, but it, it doesn't do enough different things to really be its own separate entity. It's just Immortal was the combination of all these people, I think. Nice switch up. Yeah, I'm very, very hopeful. Very hopeful. This single and the first one really got me in the sense that, like, the, the, I, I, I am very hopeful there's going to be another good album. Uh, yeah, because I'm trying to remember which of the Abbott single solo, because this is the so third solo album he's releasing. I think I like the second one actually more. I thought it was more refined. Uh, I like the production too. It has this crispness, but it also has this kind of raw edge to it. It's not overproduced. Uh, so I, I like the approach they're going with with the album. Musically, I already said that it's very similar to something I've already heard from these creators. Uh, I would also like to very much see what Immortal is going to do with their new album. Because the Northern Chaos came out 2019, 18, I forgot exactly. But it was good. I really liked it. Uh, in general, black metal, this kind of old school balls out black metal is becoming more rare and rare. And I think many people are leaning towards the more melodic side. So it's nice to still see things like this. And despite the fact that I might have not connected with it 100%, sometimes like Wantain, uh, Wantain as well, or Dark Funeral, which I will be checking out Dark Funeral's album, perhaps because maybe I was wrong. I, I love to be proven wrong because then I have something else to be checking out. Anywho, let's finish up the song, see what we got here. I know Abbott is not available for interviews, but that is a figure I would love to interview. This guy is just so out there. <laughs> and I've seen a couple of interviews with him and how hard it is to sometimes interview him because uh, he does like to drink a little bit, so it, it, it can get in the way of the interview sometimes. But, you know, I, I still... I, I personally never follow people's breakups and makeups and their personal lives. I'm not as interested in that as a fan of music. I already got enough shit to deal with with my own life. I don't, I don't need to be finding out everybody else's drama. Whenever I sit down to listen to music, I'm, all I'm interested in is the music. Unless the person is just so horrible and so disgusting, such a vile person, which is extremely rare that it happened. Uh, like even Varg, I can still listen to Barzum, uh, despite all his craziness. It's just, you know, there's a distance between 
uh, how I take him in or if I ever listen to his lyrics, how I interpret his lyrics. Uh, that being said, though, I would love to hear from you guys what you think of this particular song, what you're thinking of so far of the three singles Abbott released. Uh, I'll definitely be reviewing this. This is no fucking doubt. I have to do this. This is, like I said, this is top tier excitement for me here. Uh, but guys, make sure to enjoy the rest of your day. Stay safe out there. And most of all, keep it metal.